Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Long Pamai, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving some updates on uh, Date Picker X. In our prior video, I've shown you how to use this Date Picker X in uh, in the user form, be it 32 or 64 bit Office, it should work. And um, I've done a small update so that you can use this uh, Date Picker in your uh, you know worksheet as well. So let me quickly jump to that. I'm gonna close this. So this is a basic interface. I've created this. There are a couple of ways, couple of ways that you can um, call or launch this date picker. Uh, one is through events. So when when you click on the cell, it's gonna bring up the date picker. You select, and then it's gonna go back there. Yeah, um, like this. Or you can bring it through the button as well. You can put a calendar icon or you know like a button of your choice, and then you can trigger uh to bring this up okay so basically only thing that you need to be aware of is when you're launching it through this uh, this one is easier so let's go here um so you'll see this is sample code uh this is public variable which will hold the ad address where the date is to be um you know like um date output is gonna go to okay so it passes that address the range address as you can see in this example we just want to fill uh, in D13, right? So I'm telling that uh, that uh, my output will be in this particular address, yeah? And then it shows up the user form, which is this. And then I've not done any changes to the code, so it's still the same. If you have not seen the prior video, I recommend that you see it first so that you understand how this date picker works. And uh, so yeah, when you click on this, you just need to pass the address where you want to, uh, you know, like date to come back. Uh, for example, let's say that I'll just select this and create another, or let's say we want to create another button. Um, let me just create a shape, something like this, yeah. And let's say we want the date to come in here. I'll just delete this. Now I can just assign a code. Like this, and then I just need to pass uh, this address, D15 yeah. range, and then you can say C cell is equal to this dot address. So I'm telling that uh, I want the date to be returned here, and then you just show this user form, okay? So user form one dot show. That's it. Now, when I click on here, it brings up this. And then when I click here, it returns the date here. Yeah, so it's as simple as that. But in case you want to use the events, you can uh, use the worksheet uh, events. So uh, whatever sheet uh, that you want to input the date to, you just go to that particular object. Uh, let me add a couple of more sheets. Yeah, so we let's say we want to add date here. I've already added sample here. So for example, if the count of, uh, you know, like if the, uh, the count is greater than, I mean, it's not equal to zero, then it's gonna uh, exit, okay? Otherwise it's gonna find the intersection where you want to return a date. Uh, basically it's gonna pop up that uh, date and then it's gonna take the target address. So for example, if you want, uh, let's try in a new area. So let's say that we want to bring in the date here, okay, in this four cells. Like this so um just gonna copy this and now we are in two right so i'll put this code in that particular sheet by going here view code and then i'll paste the code there now let's say that we want date picker to show up in d d3 till d6 uh so i can just say d3 i'll just comment this line i'll just use this one so d3 Oops, sorry. Okay, so from this tree to this, oh, six, sorry. From D3 to D6. So if the user or anyone using this code clicks on this particular area, okay, in this address, any of this address is gonna bring up that, uh, you know, like it's gonna save the target address, whatever cell it was clicked, it's gonna bring up that, uh, store that as a, output uh, address and then I'm gonna bring up this form okay 
So if I click here now, it brings up the form. Similarly here, here, and here, okay? But if I click somewhere else, it's gonna, not going to do that. Now you can also use the other sample. For example, this one is for continuous range, right? And if your range are not continuous, uh, let's say you want to do it. Um, just give me one second. Let's comment this out for now. Let's say we want to reuse it here. Uh, and here and here. Yeah, so you can pass this address. So uh, it's 3, 7, and 11. Okay. So it's three, seven, and eleven. Yeah. So if I click anywhere else now, it's gone. But if I click here, date picker comes up. Yeah. Okay. So it is as simple as that. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in our last video was that you can also specify the the date format. So if your uh, Excel is supposed to, you know, like take the UK date format or the US date format, you can specify it here. So uh, basically, again, quick walkthrough. Uh, when the user form loads, it's going to load up all the date. Um, and then you can, you know, like navigate previous months, prior months. You can jump to the current date, for example. Okay. You can also jump to a specific year, uh, twenty. 19 and May, something like this, okay? Um, and then when you go to this, you can um, you can change the date um, date format first. All these are related to colors. You can change that. Basically, when you click on this particular, uh, any of these dates, it's going to go to this class and it's going to run this code, okay? So when this code is run, um, which is this, it's going to return the date to this particular range, whatever C cell address that we passed when we call, and this is date format, yeah? So um, pretty much that. Uh, if you have any questions, please do let me know. Um, you can start using by simply dragging this to your project. So let's say that you have a new file like this. Um, let's say that this is... Um, Sample like this. Uh, so now this is my project, which is blank at the moment. You can simply drag this form into your project. Okay, and then uh, this as well. Date picker module and the class as well. Okay, so you need this tree into your project. And then you can, uh, like we've just did a walkthrough, you can start using bypassing the you know, like uh, in this fashion, or you, you can pass, uh, bring up the date picker in this fashion as well. Okay, so that will be all for this short video. Um, I'll upload the, you know, like the link from where you can download this as soon as possible. So do check it, download it, and if you don't mind, uh, please share them with your friends so that uh, everyone can benefit from this. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, and you do have a great day. Bye-bye.